Terry and I are honoured to have uh, Margaret's exhibition with us again at the Gombo Gallery. Um, we have been representing Margaret since 1993. We have always been very um, uh, much in love with, with Margaret's uh, work and her excellent ability as a draftsperson and a painter. And uh, I think she, in my, in my view, and uh, she would be one of the um, most wonderful, talented female artist. I think the Art Gallery New South Wales is very fortunate uh, to have a, a quite a wonderful collection of Margaret, uh, uh, Margaret's work and uh, her peers have also been very supportive of Margaret, uh, artists like Margaret Olley and um, uh, Nora Heisen and, um, uh, and many others. Um, have been um, working together in, 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 in the Sydney scene. What a privilege it is to talk about Margaret Woodward's painting. I have chosen this one. It's in dappled light. Now dappled light, you don't need a lot of colour if it's Margaret Woodward. To look at the face, then she gives intensity of colour and that's enough in the whole painting. She describes the curve of her shoulder, her body and the couch at the same time. It's an integral part of where we are in our own life. The holding of the hands, always the hands with Margaret. Um, the joy of the curve behind her, her hair up on her head. This is a beautiful piece of art and it's one that just puts you to dream, but at the same time has a reality which can be awesome. It can be quite frightening because she tends to anticipate what our life might be, certainly what her life is and will be. I love this painting. Thank you, Margaret Woodward. Margaret has a long history with, uh, with, with, with West Australia. In, uh, in 70s, 71, I think she uh, was living in Darlington at the time where Darlington was actually home to a, um, uh, a most talented, uh, very recognised uh, artist such as Guy Grant Smith and Robert Juniper and Brian McKay. Uh, at that time, she was um, uh, also employed at, uh, to teach at uh, Wait, uh, what is Curtin University now. And at that time, um, she actually had her first exhibition uh, at the uh, Joe Gill Galleries that was in 1972. Um, but at the time, she won uh, a Wind Prize, which is a, quite a prestigious, well, Australia's most prestigious landscape award. She's um, been highly respected by um, the arts community, and um, as I said, we are, we are honoured to have this um, exhibition with, uh, uh, of Margaret's work. Margaret's exhibition runs from 4th to the 20th, 25th of May, 2014, um, and enjoy it.